Hi little llamas, it's Emma and I have Lily Llama with me and we're going to read a story together. This story is called Josephine Wants to Dance. Josephine is a kangaroo. Josephine loved to dance, just like you. She bounced with the brolgers. Oh, look at their lovely long necks. And leapt with the lyrebirds. Kangaroos don't dance, Josephine, said her little brother Joey. They hop. Can you hop? It's like jumping, except you're on one foot. So you need to balance. But Josephine took no notice. The emu showed how to point her toes. The eagles taught her how to soar to the music of the wind. She swayed with the branches in the trees, but she still dreamt of somehow finding another way to dance. There has to be something more, said Josephine wistfully as she danced across her brother. She's leaping all the way over him. Kangaroos don't dance, Josephine, yelled Joey, ducking his head. They jump. But Josephine kept on dancing. The next day, Josephine found posters stuck on the trees. The ballet was coming to Shaggy Gully. That's how I'd like to dance, cried Josephine, in a pink tutu with silk ballet shoes. Get real, said Joey. Kangaroos don't wear tutus, Josephine, and they never wear silk ballet shoes. I'm going to, said Josephine, pointing her toes. She crept over to the hall. A week later, Josephine sneaked into the town and peered through the window as the dancers rehearsed. Ooh, cried Josephine. She watched the dancers for hours and then she practiced at night all alone. The day of the first performance arrived, but the ballet company was in trouble. Ow! shrieked the prima ballerina as she twisted her ankle. Oh! sobbed her understudy as she found a splinter in her toe. Who will dance the lead role? cried the ballet director. Josephine jumped through the window and onto the stage. A kangaroo, yelled the dancers. There's a kangaroo on the stage. Josephine pointed her toes. She tossed her head. She swayed like the lyrebirds. As they called to their sweethearts, she soared like an eagle through the sky. I bet you can do all those things. Can you point your toes? Sway and leap through the sky. A dancing kangaroo, everyone cried. Who ever heard of a dancing kangaroo? Josephine swirled above the stage like the mist playing with the moon. The director stared at Josephine. Finally, she smiled. Well, this kangaroo can dance and she knows the lead role and she can jump higher than any other dancer I've seen. The director took Josephine to the wardrobe department. A kangaroo, exclaimed the costume designer. I can't dress a kangaroo. Just do your best, the director told him. The lights dimmed, the orchestra started playing, the curtains opened, the performance began. The ballerinas fluttered onto the stage. One, two, three, four, and Josephine. Oh, look how high she can stretch her leg. Someone in the audience giggled. It's a kangaroo. Then Josephine began to dance. She twirled through the air like leaves in a whirlwind. She leapt like no dancer had ever before. 
And at the end, she curtsied like the brogans bowing to the sun. The audience was silent. And then they clapped. And then they cheered. Can you see some animals in the audience? There's a few dogs and a sheep. This kangaroo is a dancer, they cried. A truly magnificent dancer. Josephine was still curtsying when the ballet director brought bunches of roses onto the stage. Roses are delicious, decided Josephine, and I am finally a dancer and it's fun. In fact, dancing looked like so much fun that soon all the audience were bounding and bouncing, prancing and pouncing, bumping and jumping and leaping and thumping. Swishing and swirling and twinkle toe twirling. Oh, there's a wombat, the lovely tutu. And it looks like someone's doing the splits down there. But nobody ever danced quite like Josephine. And no one dances quite like you do. That story was by Jackie French. Thank you for listening, little llamas. See you again soon. Bye.